1951, a Japanese gentleman named Kyuzu Yamagishi uh, opened up a ramen shop called Taishogun. And I doubt that he had any idea 60 years later it would be a legendary ramen shop and changed food as we know it. Yamagishi, he created what is now known as sukeme, and what he called morisoba. That alone made him the legend that he is today. And I think right now he's in his late 70s, and he can't do what he used to do. But it still means so much to him to have everything taste right. So even though he's retired, what he does is come to the restaurant before the service starts and drinks his tea. So after he gets his tea, he goes into the kitchen. The broth is ready for him to taste before service starts. He does it still every day, right? and they taste it. And he's like, oh, I need some more of this. So I have fish powder, some spring onions, a negi. And then he's like, it's ready to go. So when that's done, he sits outside like Marlon Brando in The Godfather at this tiny table all day long while customers come in and he greets everybody like the Dom. <laughs> so of course I had to bring Peter Meehan here to experience the master. And which one's Omori? This one. Taishokin, even though the original one's closed, it's still a legendary shop. So this is the spot you used to come to? No, this is a different location. A different location of Within the same, the same neighborhood. neighborhood. The old place was around the corner. Well, the first time I went, it was crazy because like people were taking photos. It was like a mecca. And the line would be like 200, 300 person queue. If you showed up around like 12.30, you're here shit out of luck. So it wasn't vending machine? No vending machine. But while you're on 50th person, 50th or like 30th person in line, they would take your order. The story is that they originally opened up this shop in Nakano. It was like 12, 13 seats, and he was there all the time. He's the first guy to put this massive towel around his head, sort of this mix between, like, Cook and WWF wrestler. He was awesome. Many things in Japanese cuisine elevate what was something that was very humble and not taken seriously and take it to another level. So mori soba, or sukemen, really is chilled noodles, a dipping broth. And that broth could be really the ramen soup, but something that's very highly seasoned. But the biggest thing about Taishogun omori, is literally the size of the noodle portion. I order a regular size. With the hot mihan gets the omori size ramen. The omori in Japanese means large, extra large. <laughs> it's like super size me. And they're not fucking around. You've been telling me for like three weeks about how big this bowl of noodles is. Well, many years, actually. <laughs> The average Japanese person can crush this bowl of ramen. Yes. Meehan had been talking a lot of trash that he could crush this bowl. All right, don't let me down. I wanted to see Meehan be uncomfortable. Whatever bite when you dip it in is properly seasoned. This even tastes like porkier, though. It's got more of like a kind of a bone flavor. <laughs> Are you left-handed? <laughs> You're just doing it all wrong. Fair enough, it works better. It was a pathetic attempt. He was like, oh, my stomach, my stomach hurts. I can't, I can't do it. Oh. You hanging in there? I keep eating and they're keeping the same amount of noodles in there. Stop talking. I just had two bowls. Nah. Look at the ladies behind you. They crush theirs. I've done it. Game on, dude. Kabate kudasai. Go, go, go. Have no mercy. Cobra Kai. One thing about Japanese culture in general, particularly ramen culture, is you finish your food. You want a fork? I was embarrassed just as an American. It can't happen. Is that what you're going to tell your daughter when she grows up? Quit? Be a quitter? <laughs> Quitting's good. Quitting's okay. Daddy. I just want, I want to live to see him grow up. Just a red stamp on me that says fail. I was sad to see that Peter Meehan refused to embrace this. But he couldn't, he couldn't pull the trigger. <laughs>